So for this problem, um, we're given the gradient vector of f at p is equal to 2, 7, 0. And the gradient vector g at p is equal to 1, negative 7, 8. And we're asked to calculate the total derivative uh, of f plus 4g with respect to negative 1, negative 3, and negative 5. Um, so we can use the linearity of the total derivative um, to expand this out into separate terms. So as you can see, we just separated this out, the f uh, and the g, into separate terms, both with respect to negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. Um, now to calculate the total derivative uh, with respect to p, uh, we already have the gradient. And that's really all we need uh, is the gradient with the dot product, dot product of the gradient with this vector right here. And that is equal to, we just plug in what we're given, 2, 7, 0, dot product with negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. And 1, negative 7, 8. All right, now we just have to solve this. Um, so that's minus 2, minus 21, right? And minus 0, so let me just, plus, I'm going to distribute the 4 first. Mm, no, I'm going to do the dot product first. 4 times minus 1, minus 7 times minus 3 is plus 21, and 8 times negative 5 is minus 40. And that simplifies to minus 23 plus 4 times 20, I mean minus 20. And that just simplifies to minus 103. So your total derivative of f plus 4g four, uh, four with respect to minus 1, minus 3, minus 5 is negative 103.